okay students now we are going to start with the very important topic of the 15th group it will be a very short class and very informative and everything is modified according to the examination pattern question okay so in organic inorganic in inorganic you have to be very selective because lot of things are there to study but uh, people are not getting in the examination because they are not studying as per the examination pattern their study is in the in one direction and exam questions are in other direction okay so this class will be very short in time but it is will be a scoring time understood so try to write the notes whatever i am giving on the board okay because in inorganic notes is only matters and how you prepare how many points you prepared does not matter that point how you prepared how the examination okay how the examination questions are coming in that direction your preparation should be there okay many students complain that sir inorganic is very boring and we are studying so many times but we are forgetting and uh, but we, uh, we are not getting marks sir okay that is because that is just because their direction is wrong what is wrong the direction of study is wrong okay so let us start with the nitrogen oxides of the nitrogen okay so nitrogen can nitrogen is the element which can show oxidation state right from minus 3 to plus 5 right from where to where minus 3 to plus 5 okay what is this written minus 3 right from minus 3 it will reach up to plus 5 why because minus 3 because nitrogen have already how many electrons five electron in its valency shell to gain octet how many electrons are required three electrons are required how many required three electrons are required that's why required will be minus 3 will be electrons so minus 3 why minus 3 is it understood and next one if it can lose five electron if it can lose five electron then also it can gain then also what it can do then also it can gain octet okay so there are two choice sorry then it can gain the duplet okay nitrogen can gain stability in how many ways two different ways by gaining three electrons it will gain octet by losing five electrons by losing how many electrons five electrons it will gain duplet in both way it can do it okay so but when it combines with the oxygen when it combines with the oxygen it show only plus oxidation state it show what oxidation state only plus oxidation state so so you should get a doubt if you not getting doubt now then you will not be able to answer the questions because that conceptual questions will be more what will be more conceptual question okay question will be why nitrogen shows only positive oxidation state in their oxides okay so anybody got the answer ready made answer with them no okay but people are just by hearting the point what is the melting point what is the boiling point like that that is illogical okay so make your inorganic study logical and in the examination question direction okay so here why plus is because among the nitrogen and oxygen among the nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen is less electronegative and oxygen is more electronegative once oxygen is more electronegative oxygen will be minus and nitrogen will be obviously plus okay nitrogen is famous nitrogen is famous to form total six types of oxides okay you may say sir everywhere we have studied five but it is six okay and that six to only more important okay so you can see here also how many oxides are there six but numbering i have done five as per ncert five but as per the question pattern of the examination they are six okay so where is the twist no2 and n2o4 okay they are entirely different that difference only examination will be based questions will be based on that difference only okay question will be why no2 is this why not n2o4 why no2 combined together okay 
what is the change in when uh, changes from NO2 to N2O4? Okay, like that questions only will be there. Is it understood? So nitrogen shows all oxidation state from the zero, um, uh, sorry, plus one to plus five. Okay, so when it shows N2O, nitrous oxide, when it, uh, I mean, it's formula is what? N2O, then for, uh, it is called as what? Nitrous oxide. Okay, then when it is NO, then it is called nitric oxide oxidation number is plus two when it is n2o3 oxidation number is plus three it is called as a dinitrogen trioxide up to here only people study okay but main point is cesic oxide what it is called as cesic oxide most important point this you have to underline put a star mark n2o3 is also called as what cesic oxide okay next no2 and n2o4 in both of them oxidation number is same oxidation number is same what is the oxidation number plus 2 but if it is no2 it is called as a nitrogen dioxide and empirical formula when you cancel out this you will get this one n2o4 cancelled by the two then you will get no2 but they are different chemical properties different that's why you cannot just cancel like that understood <coughs> so n2o4 is called as a dinitrogen trioxide tetroxide okay dinitrogen tetroxide remain uh, very careful dinitrogen trioxide is called as a cesic oxide and din, uh, dinitrogen tetroxide this one okay n2o5 it is plus 5 and dinitrogen pentoxide what it is called as dinitrogen Pentoxide. This is the general view. We are going to study in depth study about them. Okay. One by one, we are going to study in depth. Understood? Now I am erasing only this part. We are going to study some more properties of them. Okay. Oxidation number and name only we have studied. Now we are going to study some important properties of them. Okay. Okay, now these are some more important examination objectives. Okay, so try to note down as it is. Don't change anything from here and how the examination question will be there, how to modify them, how to modify the notes I am going to tell you. Okay, so this already name is given. Color, there will be definitely, there will be 99% chances are there. Question will be based upon the color. Okay. Forget about everyone. Remember only two people in the color. Who are those two people? One is NO2. NO2 is brown colored gas. Brown colored gas. Okay. And N2O3 is blue color. Okay. These two things are important. Okay. So question will be an integer type. Number of colored oxides. Number of colored oxides of nitrogen. What will be the answer? Only two only two of them are colored okay next number of gases number of gases in oxides of nitrogen okay one two three only three are gases whose are those n2o no and no2 okay and number of solids number of solid confirm is solid is n2o5 this is in some books it is given as a liquid in some books it is given as a solid okay and it is always liquid only so there is no problem with this there is no problem with this problem arises only with this okay so if both are coming the most appropriate answer will be what liquid most appropriate answer is going to be liquid is it understood students so number of gases chances are there Number of gaseous oxides of nitrogen. How many of them are gases? Only three. Nitrous oxide, nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide. Rest, this is blue liquid. Most, see, two properties of them are very special. It is a colorful also. It is a liquid also. Blue color liquid. Is it understood? Then acidic basic nature. Out of all oxides, only two are neutral okay only first two are neutral rest all are acidic rest all are acidic this is very 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 important very very important is it understood any doubt about this
so this is about the formula and there some physical properties okay there some physical properties we are going to study some other properties also so be available okay coming to the some preparation methods some important preparation methods okay some important preparation methods okay nh4 and uh, when it is heated okay these are the some preparation methods ammonium nitrate ammonium nitrate on heating what happens it will lose h2o okay so what it will lose it will lose h2o two four hydrogens are there and they will be removed with the two moles of h2o so one n2o two nitrogen and one oxygen will be left over here okay this is the preparation method of nitrous oxide first preparation method will be from the nitrous oxide okay nh4 no3 on heating minus 2h2o will give you the n2o this is preparation of the nitrous oxide this is not much important but this is most important nitric oxide nitric oxide can be prepared in how many methods in the three methods okay nitrate ions will oxidize ferrous ion to ferric ion okay it is plus 2 and it is oxidized to what plus 3 is it understood nitrous acid is converted to nitric oxide potassium nitrite it this is nitrite this is nitrate nitrate also converted into nitric oxide nitric oxide this is nitric oxide this is nitric acid hno3 is nitric acid okay two preparation methods is it understood then we will go for the three more preparation methods three more oxides of the preparation method okay so next reaction next to three more preparation method the third preparation method is for the n2o3 third preparation method is for n2o3 2 no plus n2o4 at 250 degree celsius will give you 2 n2o3 okay then fourth preparation is method is for no2 very very important okay many times in integer type question which of the following how many of the following on heating will produce no2 okay lead nitrate and copper plus concentrated nitric acid you should remember concentrated nitric acid okay so here we are producing no2 and no2 but on cooling this no2 dimerizes two moles of no2 dimerizes to give you n2o4 okay then fifth one is nitric acid nitric acid on dehydration nitric acid on dehydrating agent it is p4o10 is a dehydrating agent acidic oxide acidic dehydrating agent and will give you the hpo3 plus n2o5 this is the n2o5 okay then same way on oxidizing the two moles of no2 with ozone what it is two moles of the no2 with one mole of ozone will also give n2o5 will also give n2o5 and o2 okay so that's all for the most important points of the oxides of nitrogen thank you bye bye